I can tell you there's a 90% chance of the cameraman falling over as we go into the mud hut. So bear with us, it could be entertaining. This is the home, as you said, of Kate and Alan Burrows. And it is a home, but it is also a home that they crafted with their own hands, their bare hands, from mud and straw bales. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I've been calling you Mr and Mrs Bonkers because well, you're well. like something out of a cartoon <laughs> character, a children's book. We are but, a bit bonkers, but that's in a good way. In a very, very good way. <laughs> I'm testament to that and your hospitality this morning. It is so cosy and gorgeous in here. Why are you living in a mud hut? Well, um, what happened was we couldn't afford to live in a normal rented property anymore. We couldn't afford the bills and all the costs and it was becoming evident we were going to lose our home. Um, we own this piece of land already for 10 years. I bought it with a previous marriage settlement. Um, so where were we going to go? You know, we couldn't afford to live in a house anymore, so we came here in a caravan. And the council didn't like you being here in a caravan, did they? No. Planning enforcement turned up and said, well, you, you know, you can't live here in a caravan. It's against the rules. We'll be back in six weeks and make sure that you've gone. So you had six weeks to do what? So, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we just thought, well, what are we going to do? We need to build a house. We've got no money. We've got no, you know, we've never built a house before. Um, what have we got here? We've got lots of chestnut poles, lots of mud, lots of turf. We did some research into natural building. It's what people have been doing since time began, really, building houses from what they've got right here, right now, you know, and it's sustainable. Um, it's low and, impact. And you, you bought know? a book, didn't you? How I to did, build yeah. a house. Yeah. And I have to say, it is pouring <laughs> with rain, one of the P words that we could have used, um, outside, and it is very warm and cosy and very dry in here. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Everyone wants to know how you live. How do you live? Uh, first of all, how do you eat? Well, we're just normal people living in really? a natural house. We are. Yeah. I go to work, you know, we, we shop in Sainsbury's. So here's your cooker um, behind uh, us. Yeah, I've got like a, a caravan I'm cooker. I'm going to go and have a little look round. OK. Do you want me to follow right. you here's a, Come and have a little look. And so here, give you a tour. the cooker running off a little gas stove. Yeah, this yeah. is our kitchen Small area. Pump, yep. It's like a galley kitchen. That's our cooker. Um, it's a caravan cooker. Slightly and worried about candles and straw bales, but no. Yeah, it's no. fine. It's okay. absolutely fine. And how do you wash is the next well, question. Well, I wash the same as people have washed throughout time with water <laughs> and yeah. soap. Don't uh, be cheeky now. Come <laughs> on, don't be cheeky. <laughs> well, I've got one of these um, old-fashioned bowls and jugs, yeah. you know. How, how um, many times do you have a bath? And Yeah, we've got... We have a bath once a week on a once Sunday. A Sunday. Once a night. week? Yeah. On a Sunday. Sunday. That was only 48 hours ago, so... Um, <laughs> so we're not too popular. You're not too right stinky, but does it get very fragrant here? Um, no, no. We, we find that we actually prefer the scent of, you know, Natural. naturalness, really, Ooh. rather than perfumes they and stuff that covers it up. Um, and what about the loo? How do you We've go to the loo? We've got a compost loo. loo. Um, it's a box with a wooden box with a toilet seat on top of it. And we do our business in there, chuck in a pile of sawdust, mm. and nature takes care of it. We're not wasting any um, top quality drinking water on flushing away our waste. It's what people spend hundreds of pounds of going down to Glastonbury to do, isn't it, frankly? Yeah. Well, but yeah, you do yeah, it yeah. every day. Yeah. Are there times where it just gets on top of you and you wish for the central heating and the Wi Fi? The... We love it. We love being okay. connected with nature and with the seasons, okay. chopping wood, um, fetching water, being connected with our animals and our land and having a natural life uh, the way that everyone should, I You think. have got solar panels on the top, which yeah. helps yeah. you be a bit sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, your bedroom, please show us okay. your bedroom, okay. because that's fascinating. Do you now, want me to go first? Well, we'll just all <laughs> muddle through amongst the baskets. You make the baskets. Okay, keep going. I'll keep going Kate, this way, you show then. Us. The door opens outward, unfortunately. There we go. So, um, yeah, this is our bedroom in here. This is a bed that Alan made himself. We've got a four-poster four bed. bed made out of wood. That Alan made, and um, yeah, we sit in there and watch Netflix at night like any normal. Oh, couple. hang on, you can't do this. I'm running away from modern life and then say <laughs> that you're sitting at night and watching Netflix. Well, the whole, the whole point was that you were getting away from modern life as well, and modern life was making you ill, wasn't it? That's right, but modern life in all the poisons it's all the poisons, all the chemicals, yep. and the build up of it. 
building up in my system every day, all day long from all angles. Now we've just got one phone. My body can cope with that. Right. But know? the council are saying, I'm really sorry, you can't stay. Um, Philip and Holly want to ask you a question. Philip. Hello, beautiful. Oh, Hello. 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 Well done. And your lovely house. Um, I, I, I wanted to ask you, because we've got a statement from the council here, which I'll read it in just a moment. And one of the main bones of contention there yeah. is that you seem to have built it on a floodplain. Why have you built it on a floodplain where it's going to get well, uh, wet? Well, our actual house isn't on the floodplain. It's just that we don't have enough money to produce the documentation to prove that. Yeah. If you use common sense and look around, all the other houses in this area are all on exactly the same level as our house. No water comes up here. <laughs> if it did, the whole of Devon would be underwater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's yeah a... the council do want them out. Yeah, go but, on. You know, that's that's an argument that's ongoing. Yeah. They didn't get planning before they built the mud hut, and the council are saying no planning, no mud hut. Yeah. Well, well, thank planning you. Planning laws only came into force in the 1940s. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, as you say, people have been living like that for yeah. centuries.